Hello, hello, and welcome to Westie's Adventures. My name's Amanda, and on today's episode, we will be doing the full ship tour of the Carnival Mardi Gras. She has a lot to offer in her 19 decks, so let's get started at the top. Starting on deck 18 aft, which is the back of the ship, you will find the ultimate playground. The stairs here will take you up to the ropes course, which is one of my favorite things here on the Mardi Gras. So let's go take a peek. At the top of the stairs is the loading station where you'll get strapped up and ready to go. There are three major excitements on the ropes course. Number one, the balance beam off the side of the ship. Number two, the zip line section off the side of the ship. And number three, the view, both on and off the ship. Keep in mind you're 19 decks up, so you get a great view of the basketball courts below, as well as the famous Carnival Red Funnel, and of course the beautiful views of the ocean and the port that you may be at. Here we are ported in Nassau, Bahamas, so you will see the aqua waters and Atlantis in the background. Just gorgeous. It's hard to tell here because I have the camera mounted to my head, but my husband is actually on the balance beam off the side of the ship here. Tell me, tell me your thoughts between number one and number two. Number one, I was terrified of heights. Number two, yeah. Number two was so much more fun because I was more daring. Yeah. <laughs> Great job. Thanks. Totally different. Back down to deck 18, you will see the basketball court. And plenty of day beds. The jogging track is here too, however, it's so busy up here that I wouldn't suggest trying to jog unless you go in the middle of the night or super early before everything else opens. You will also find the water park here. They have a nice little splash park for the kiddos, as well as three really fun slides for the older kids and adults. The orange slide is a drop slide where you actually get into a capsule and the floor drops out from underneath you. I screamed the entire time, even before the floor dropped out. The blue one you ride down on a mat, face forward, on your belly, and the yellow one is your standard sit and ride slide. I actually made it to the bottom of this one. The yellow one on the ecstasy, I got stuck in the middle and had to scoot my way down to the bottom. It was really quite hilarious. And yes, we do have it on film. If you'd like for me to post it, let me know in the comments below. You will also see Bolt Roller Coaster here, although you board from deck 19. It's really quite a fun ride and such a different experience riding a roller coaster in the middle of the ocean. In the very back of aft 18, you have your miniature golf course. Here is where you can go up and load on Bolt Roller Coaster.
Moving on to the forward of deck 18, you have the Serenity area. The Mardi Gras offers a huge Serenity deck, and if you saw my other video touring Loft 19, you know that the Serenity deck is located directly below. It's very quiet here, so relaxing, and you will never find a shortage of day beds or loungers. Really quickly guys, if you're enjoying this video, find it of value in any way, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more adventures. This helps me grow on YouTube and it tells YouTube to show my videos to more viewers by placing them in their searches. Thank you so much to those who have already subscribed, supported, and encouraged me to continue filming. In the center of the Serenity area, you will find the Serenity pool, a sunken lounge area, a full bar, as well as a create your own salad restaurant. I've heard it's really delicious, but unfortunately, I was too busy eating unhealthier foods on this cruise. Again, lots and lots of day beds and loungers. You will also find a few hot tubs throughout the Serenity Deck. Moving back to the main pool area now. and back down to deck 17, you will find lots of loungers overlooking the main pool below on the Lido deck. If you keep going past the pool area, you'll find the famous Guy's Burger Joint. On your way, you will find one of the unlimited ice cream machines. As you've heard me mention in my Liberty Full Ship Tour, Guy's is a staple. In my opinion, you have to have it at least once on every cruise. I suggest the Ringer Guy's. It does not disappoint. Right behind guys, you'll find Club 02 for ages 15 to 17. Pretty nice for the kids, as it's close to the pool and of course guys. Around the corner from Club 02, you'll find some more outside waterfront dining tables. Back down to deck 16, which is the Lido deck, you will find the main pool, one large hot tub, and lots and lots of loungers. Here in the back, you'll find Street Eats, which consists of Time Fries, Steam Dream, and Sizzle, which are all included, and also Seafood Shack, which is the one that's an upcharge, but it's very affordable and yummy. As you can see from the photos, it was one of our favorite lunch spots while at the pool.
Moving down to deck eight, if you're staying in the Havana suites and staterooms, this is where you will find your rooms. Deck 8 is also where you will find Chebang, which is one of the free upgraded dining options that the Mardi Gras has to offer. This is a Chinese Mexican cuisine and we tried this for dinner on our first night and it was amazing. Right around the corner from Chebang is the Havana Bar. You will find karaoke in this bar as well as Latin nights with an amazing Latin band. This was our favorite bar on the ship because we knew several of the bartenders here and they know how to make the best drinks, including any flavor mojito you could imagine. And since they were the nicest, they allowed me to go out and shoot some footage on the private Havana area that typically is exclusive for Havana sweet guests only. So let's go check it out. The Havana area offers lots of sun and shade loungers, a full private bar, and a small pool. I have personally never stayed in a Havana suite, but my friends that we cruise with have. They did mention that the Havana area on the Mardi Gras is really small compared to the Horizon, so if you're coming from the Havana area on the Horizon to the Mardi Gras, you may be a little disappointed. However, I thought it was a nice and quiet area, and of course it comes with the best bartenders. Moving down the hall from the Havana Bar, you will find the main stage, which is a Las Vegas themed stage. The screens in the background can fold away and turn into full floor to ceiling windows during the day, which is really cool. The staircase here leads to the casino on deck 7. Down on the left you will find the Bonsai Teppanyaki and Sushi restaurants. Both of these are in upcharge. And right next to the sushi is Carnival's exclusive Effie Diamond Store. down past the main stage, you'll find the La Piazza area. On the right, you have the Belle Della Rosa wine and cocktail bar. And to the left, you will find the pizza shop that is open 24-7. and the deli, which is not open 24 seven, but it's oh so good.
On the left, past the deli, is Sea Grill Seafood Restaurant. This is an upcharge, and we did try this out. It was really good, and the lobster mac was so amazing. You will see that in the middle of everything is the customer service desk. I personally thought this was a really weird place to have this as it would line up a lot of the time causing confusion on who was in line and who was just passing through to go to the restaurants. Because as you can see here, Pig and Anchor is located right behind the customer service desk in the summer landing area. You will also find the alcohol shop right here next to Pig and Anchor. Don't forget to stock up on all your favorite bottles because it is duty free on the ship. Now back to Pig and Anchor, which is their barbecue restaurant that is included. We had this for lunch on day one and it was absolutely fabulous. This is also your sports bar area with all of your TVs. So our guys were here on Sunday and Monday night for football as it was still football season when we were on the Mardi Gras. You will also find another unlimited ice cream machine here. Outside of Pig and Anchor, you will find the patio that includes an infinity pool, lots of outside seating, as well as two large hot tubs around the corner on your left. Right down the way from the hot tubs, you will find the watering hole full service bar. If you're a cornhole fan, you'll find a couple cornhole boards here. And here you'll find the outside area of Bar De La Rosa. My goodness, this ship is so beautiful. I know this is super weird to film, but I found this interesting about the Mardi Gras and I have never seen it on any other ship. You can literally see all the way down and all the way up from the staircases. I just found that neat. All right, moving on down to deck seven where you will find the casino. One thing that is unique to the casino on the Mardi Gras is that it is split into a non-smoking side and a smoking side. Back here behind the casino, you will find your 21 and over club, the Limelight Lounge. Now it is closed here, so I couldn't get in to show you what it looks like, but it is a pretty decent sized club. This is the non-smoking side here. I am not a smoker, so I truly enjoy this. The non-smoking side is very well ventilated and I never smelled smoke while I was in there. The casino does have a really nice full bar.
Moving down to the forward of Deck 7, you will find the Mardi Gras Theater. Here is a clip of what it looks like in action. Passing back through the casino on the smoking side, which you will see is a bit smaller than the non-smoking side. Outside the casino is the Grand Central area. which may look a little familiar to you as this is the main stage. I will point out that I've heard some people complain that this area actually takes place of the glass elevator classic atrium area as you will find on some of the older ships. I personally think this is beautiful, but I do miss those glass elevators. You will see that this deck does offer the more traditional cruise ship seating here. On the left, you will find a few of the fun shops. As I mentioned in the Liberty Tour video, make sure you check out your itinerary to find the $10 sale, as they only have them select days and times, and you can find some pretty awesome things. The area around the Alchemy Bar has some awesome lighting that changes colors and just really makes the area so unique. Just a side note, the Alchemy Bar does fill up at night, and it does take a good while to get your drinks, so just fair warning. Just down from the Alchemy Bar, you will find seating that overlooks Emeralds Bistro 1396. We'll cover Emeralds here in just a few minutes. The glass staircases here are so beautiful and it's a perfect area to take your formal night pictures. On the right, you have the famous Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. This is an upcharge dining option, but if you love steak, I highly recommend. Also, if you love fruity drinks, this one right here is delicious. It's called the Fahrenheit 555. On the aft of Deck 6, you will find one of the main dining rooms, Palm Restaurant. Of course, this is an included dining option, and you will see in just a moment that it is a two-story dining room found on both Deck 6 and 7. As I mentioned, Deck 6 aft is again your Palm Restaurant. Right around the corner, you'll find Carnival Kitchen. Carnival Kitchen is an upcharge option where you learn to cook or bake specific things. I've seen things from sushi to cake decorating, so make sure you check your itinerary and sign up for these classes before they book up. As I mentioned, here is Emerald's Bistro 1396. This is an upcharge restaurant, but it is very reasonably priced and it is so good. We tried the fried meatballs as pictured here and we were not disappointed. Down on the left is the fortune teller bar and you will find all kinds of unique drinks here as you see in the picture. This one by the way is called the crystal ball. Cutting across to the other side of the ship, you will find your Flamingo Restaurant, which is another included main dining area.
to the left of the Flamingo restaurant, you will find the Brass Magnolia Bar and Venue. It's a New Orleans setting with unique trombone lights, which I love because my son plays trombone in his high school marching band. While waiting for our table at the Italian restaurant, which is another free upgraded restaurant on the Mardi Gras, we sat down to listen to the violinist play. I was truly amazed at the beauty this two-story bar had to offer. Moving on, you will find more shops just outside the main stage area. And here is a sample of the main stage performances that you can see aboard the Mardi Gras. They are so talented. Behind the main stage, you will find a cherry on top, Carnival's candy store, as well as their Java Blue Cafe, which is the one and only specialty coffee shop that I found on the Mardi Gras. It does line up early in the mornings. If you remember in my Liberty Tour video, I loved how they had three or four specialty coffee shops throughout the ship, and I never saw a line. Well, the Mardi Gras has won, and it did have a pretty long line during the prime coffee hours. Down on the left of Java Blue Cafe, you have the Piano Bar 88. It was nice, but pretty small considering Mardi Gras holds up to 6,000 guests. Here you will find the famous Mardi Gras wall where you will see a picture of the first carnival ship in 1972 that was also called Mardi Gras along with a picture of the current Mardi Gras and you can see the considerable size difference. Across the hall from this is the Punchliner Comedy Club. They were actually doing COVID testing for those going on a back-to-back -back cruise so I couldn't go inside but here's a photo of what it looks like. The last place I wanted to show you is on Deck 4. This is where the Family Harbor Suites and Rooms are located. Check out how much wider these hallways are compared to the standard stateroom hallways, as you will see here as the carpet changes to blue. This helps with families with strollers, wheelchairs, etc. Just gives you a little extra space. The Family Harbor also has your very own lounge area that includes a buffet, tables, and a cartoon viewing area for kids. Also, Camp Ocean is found on this deck, along with Dr. Seuss's book bill. And this concludes our tour of the beautiful Carnival Mardi Gras. My name is Amanda, and this is my channel, Westie's Adventures. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified of more adventures to come. Again, thanks for watching and until next time.